Hey guys, what is up? My name is Tiffany Jenner and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So I thought um, I would get ready and do my makeup while chatting to you guys and just kind of getting into some deep juicy conversation. So yeah, just like an old school kind of video. Um, I'm not going anywhere really today um, because it's already like two o'clock. I'm just going to pick up my kids from school later. The only place I'm really going is to Walmart, so yeah, I'll look good for the people at Walmart. But I am just going to do my makeup. I've just straightened my hair. I still need to go over some pieces. Um, this is a new headband I got from on Valentine's from my husband at the Earthbound Trading Company. And um, if you noticed in my videos, I'm kind of lately obsessed with headbands. Um, my husband... Uh, I don't know. I guess he just thinks it's a different kind of look. He said I look like um, someone that would work in a laundry mat, and I thought that was weird at first, but now I kind of know what he means. But I'm really into headbands right now. I got. I don't have a big collection, but I just started getting a few, so I just thought I would share. So um, these two are really pretty. I got these from um, Forever Twenty One, and um, and then this one's really pretty, and it's got pearls all over it. Um, and this one is from Big Lots, actually. I was really surprised to find that there. So, yeah, I am getting a big headband collection. And I used to think headbands may not be for me because I have got a big forehead. But I don't care. I love headbands. I'm putting it out there. And I may get bangs soon. I'm going to get my hair dyed soon. Um, I The last time I got my hair colored was way back in September. And the deal was if I got uh, red hair... Um, I was gonna, um, sorry, that last clip got like, you know, somewhere else. So the deal was because my husband really likes red hair. I do too. I was wanting a change that we were going to upkeep it because as you know, red hair needs a lot of upkeep, but just, we just a lot forgot about it. And I've kind of liked the color that it's kind of faded into, but <clears throat> I think I still may go, my birthday's coming up. I think I still may go that red that you hit that was a few months ago that I did. But I better quit talking about hair and get into this video. Um, I have um, filled in my brows. They're not the best, but they are what they are. Um, so FYI, newcomers, newcomers, <laughs> newcomers, or anybody here, I am not a makeup artist. As you can see, I just really love makeup. Um, so I've said this before, but this makeup, this makeup, this channel was actually started kind of like a based around makeup or like I was really into makeup um you know like I've said this many times before but I was watching Carly Bobel video and I was just so inspired and um, I wanted to make all types of videos on my channel but I was really into makeup at the time and learning and beauty products and stuff like that and um I'm just putting some concealer here and I I don't know like lately my, my, this channel's kind of div gone a different way. I've just kind of been in more into vlogs and I really like to go thrifting. I still like makeup, but like I'm not watching it as much as I used to. And I don't really like, I don't really know too much about what's new in the makeup world right now. Now, <laughs> I can't speak. I went to Ulta the, this past weekend and it was so busy. And I saw like a bunch of Kylie Jenner stuff. And there's, I have a couple of her glosses or lipsticks but I don't know I'm pretty much a simple drugstore kind of girl for the most part um, but I really do love makeup and I kind of want to get back more into like doing get ready with me's and stuff um, yeah but gotta put it all in these lines I'm putting some concealer here I probably went overboard because it's probably gonna crease right here but like I said I'm not a makeup artist I just do really do enjoy makeup and I have to say I'm really thankful for YouTube that um, and learning from people and Carly Bobel like better ways to do makeup um, so I'm gonna do something kind of different and also I'm not a crap I'm not a big eyeshadow person. Like, I like eyeshadow, but I don't do it on a day-to-day -day basis. I did some yesterday, and then I put some pictures on Instagram. And then I cried about my mom, and I was missing her, and so I ruined my makeup. But um, that's just life. Um, but what else was I going to say? Yeah, so I do like eyeshadow, but I don't do, like, a ton, and I'm not the best at it. But sometimes just to put a little color on my 
uh, which one? To put a little color just on my lid. I'm kind of doing a pink look, by the way. Like, I was really hoping to get, like, a um, Valentine's Pretty in Pink kind of makeup look on my channel, but that didn't work out. So, I think I'm just going to do pink now. And I'm just using this Milani blush, and I'm just putting some on my lids just to put, like, a pop of color. And I'm just using this e.l.f. blending brush. And I just kind of do this just to add a pop of color. Not much. I mean, it's just one color I'm popping on here, you know. So the last two days have been pretty kind of hard for me. The last past weekend, actually, it really... Um, it was hard. It's been hard. If you don't know, my mom has passed away. And I know I talk about that a lot, but she was the most important person in my life. So, I can't, I can't not talk about my mom because she's pretty much made me who I was. And I pretty much, when she was here, I pretty much was going to her house every day. Almost every day. If we didn't, if I wasn't at her house every day, then I was, um we were at least talking on the phone every day just to say hey how are you doing what is up what is going on and um stuff of like that and this eyeshadow is not perfect but like i said it's a pop of pink okay i just curled my eyelashes with this little dollar tree eyelash curler and, and now i'm gonna go and um i got this mascara out of a sample sephora box and this is the Monsoor Big Lancome uh, Mascara. And I think that's really good that they give you like these little samples so you can really test it out and see if you like it. And I do really like this mascara, so I think I'm going to go to Sephora and buy some. Yeah. And there's also an eyeliner I really liked. Oh, gosh. I hate it when it gets on my lid, but when it does, the mascara does get on my lid. And I'm sorry, I feel like I'm I'm doing my makeup really far away. Um, <coughs> I've got my big mirror here. Uh, my mom got me this. I believe she got it at Ross like years ago, but how cute is that? So I always use this mirror when I do my makeup. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, about my mom and her passing away recently. Um, you know, in life, it's easy to say, like, on camera or whatever, like, yeah, I don't don't have regrets and live your life and stuff like that. But to be honest, I do have regrets, um, which I think most people do. Um, I honestly wish I had put my phone down more when I was over at her house. Um, because as a lot of us do, we are on Instagram or social media and I have realized about that about myself and I'm trying to like put that away when I'm around my kids and especially with my husband because my husband works seven days a week. So I really don't see him that much. There's a few days a week where he didn't go to work till five and we have time together and I wish I had put my phone away a little bit more when I was with my mom. Um, I did recognize that, that that was a problem the last few days. Not last few days, the last few months before she passed. But I do wish that I had put it down, and I did. But one thing I am proud of is that because, I've, as you know, I'm really close to my mom, um, Every time I saw the phone ringing and I saw that it was my mom, it said mom calling, I would never ignore that call. I knew that it was something that, and if it looks weird, that's just my reflection, um, that that, I knew that, I, I knew that I could never, I never ignored my mom's call, ever, ever, ever. Like, I knew that it could be something about her health or, you know, or if she's just calling for to ask me to go over there and drink some coffee, I would drop whatever I was doing. So I am, I am happy that I did do that, that, you know, but I wish I'd put my phone down more. I wasn't on, I'm not saying I was on it all the time when I was at her house, but I was on it sometimes and, you know, put your phone away. Um, you know, like I will, um, so yeah, that is a regret of mine. Um, 
you know, I have other regrets and stuff like that. But the thing is, you can't just, like, focus on that. You can't focus on that all the time. You gotta try to learn from it and live in a better way. Okay, now I'm about to do my foundation. And I'm just gonna use this uh, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour. Um, I have been using this one a lot lately. Uh, lady, lately, <laughs> this Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I like this one a lot. It's more expensive. My mom actually gave me this. But um, it, it smells like a chemical and I don't like that about it. So yeah, that's that. I'm just gonna go ahead. I get nervous when I do makeup on camera because I feel like makeup people are like judging me and I don't like that. But you know, like I said, I'm just me, I'm just getting ready. <coughs> I'm just getting ready for Walmart. That's what the title of this video should be. No, it's for me. It's really for me. It's to feel good in my skin. Um, oh gosh, itch. But I do, I'm kind of all over the place in this video. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah. So, regretting stuff. We all regret things. Um, but I know one day I will see my mom again. I know it. Um... I'm just going to live the best life I can, be the best, best I cannot speak, ser seriously, to save my life, I cannot, um, be the best mom I can be, and uh, I'm so glad that God, God put people in my life to, you know, like, that he did, um, what was I going to say, big forehead problems, why do I get nervous? <laughs> I'm so white now, more white. Um, yeah, I'm not the best at this. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I even shouldn't even wear like foundation anymore because I'm 37, and um, sometimes sometimes I like it, but sometimes I feel like wearing foundation makes you look older because sometimes it can you know get all up in these lines and. I don't know, but sometimes it is good to cover up stuff you don't want seen. So, it just depends, but like, I will say like, it's rare for me to wear like a full face of makeup these days. It's really rare, um, especially I don't usually do it two days in a row, <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like there's so much more I wanted to say. I forgot what I was going to say. Um. Uh, one thing I've learned, too, I've got little studs on in my ears, but usually if I'm doing my foundation, I don't put ear. I put earrings on last because I've noticed that I've gotten foundation on my earrings before. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to put a little powder on now down here. <clears throat> Not much, just just a little. I do like the idea of putting blush on my eyelids, though. Cool. And what was I going to do next? Okay, so next I'm going to line my lips. I am wearing some chapstick. Just line these lips. Oh, yeah, and I'm using... I, I line my lips with this eyebrow uh, Revlon pencil. The same thing I feel my eyebrows in is what I use for my lip liner. Okay, so just got done lining my lips with this, and it really makes a huge difference um, in kind of fooling people to make people think my lips are bigger than they are, and I really like that that trick. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead, and this is a new lipstick. I've just worn it a couple of times. It is NYX Matte Lipstick, and it is called Clinger. Look how pretty, pretty that is. Cannot speak. <clears throat> So I'm going to put that on. Got some chappy stuff on my lip. Yeah. 
Oh, that's really pretty. I like the hot pink. Ding. I feel like I'm going through this makeup video really fast. I guess because I'm doing more of a simple look. Like it's just kind of pretty and pink look. But another thing I want to talk about, and I hope my sister watches this video, but I am so, so thankful that God gave me a sister. Um, I love my sister so much. Um, she has been one of the biggest things that give me comfort after my mom passed away. Um, I mean, me and my sister have always been close, and we don't, we don't really ever fight or anything like that. But since mom has passed away, we've really gotten closer and I'm constantly calling her or we're texting each other and I'm really grateful for having a sister for having her so Lauren I love you and um well I'm going to visit her actually um she lives in Dallas I'm going to go see her in about three weeks when it's spring break so it's just going to be me and my girls and I'm really excited about that so now I'm going to use this profusion I know I've used this a thousand times I need to get I have other blushes like this Milani one and a few other ones, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mix these two. Bashful and Blossom. I like to mix them. I saw Carly Bobbell do it and I was like, oh, I gotta do that. Not that I'm trying to copy her, but it just, it does look good. And sometimes I do contour, but I'm not going like all out today. Is that a little too much? Oh, it's okay. But yeah. I've had some hard days. Um, but today has been a lot. A bit, I cannot speak. Lord, help me. Today has been a much better day. Yesterday was a day full of tears. But today, um, I just uploaded a video a few hours ago. And... Um, thank you for the people that comment on that vlog and stuff, and, um, thank you, God, for answered prayers. Um, yeah, I'm, like, really pinky pink here. I like it. I like to go all out. All out. Now, what was I forgetting? So, one thing, what was I going to do? So, this is what we got going on. I think I'm going to add some mascara on the bottom eyelashes, and that is going to be about it. So, like, like I said, it's a simple kind of pink look. And yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to use um, a different mascara to do the bottom lashes because that other one's just too thick. <clears throat> I'm using this Flower Beauty one. This is a really good mascara. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Oh, okay. Very slowly. Okay. Well, so it's like I'm doing like baby doll lashes. I don't know. Oh crap, they're clumping together. Oh crap. I feel like the other eyelashes are better. Go ahead and lift these up again. Okay. So, got that. And I think I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little more. This is really pretty, actually. This little pink. Uh, it's kind of more of like a peach color on the lid. Okay. My camera wants to fall. I've got my iPhone is sitting on some books. So the last step is um, that I'm going to do. Not step. It's not really a tutorial. Um, <clears throat> okay. I usually have been putting gloss on my lips lately. And um, over a lipstick. So I'm going to use this Patrick Star 
um, lip gloss and it is Queen P. And I'm just going to put it, oh gosh, love the smell. Ooh, that's pretty. And I just kind of put it in the middle. Ugh, I got that one dry spot. I hate that. Yeah, so that's a lot better. So, yes. So I probably got like an hour until I need to pick up the kids. I'm just going to chill here, you guys. Uh, I need to go over and straighten a few more strands of hair, obviously. But I really do enjoy my um, alone time, I have to admit. Like, I love my husband and I love my kids, of course. But I really like like my free time because that's my time I, f I can film or go to stores, go shopping, which I really shouldn't do. Um, spend too much money. And, um, yeah, I just think, like, quiet time and your own time is really good. Like, I really look forward to the time when everybody's, you know, at, um... I'm putting, just putting on a little bit of powder. When everybody's gone, I think it kind of makes the time when I'm with them, like, better because I've had time to myself. I like to chill, so. I, it's almost been a year since I've been a stay-at-home mom. Um, and, I, and I had to say that's really been a blessing, and especially with my mom passing away in December. Um, if I had been working, um... Cause, um, and kept because I, I quit last May I quit my job and if I had kept working I would have I wouldn't have had all that time I had with my mom like I got a lot more time with my mom when I quit working in May so I'm really grateful that I had that time that my husband was able to get you know work and he works seven days a week he works really hard he doesn't like me to talk about him much but I'm just going to give him a little praise because he works a lot and um, I'm really grateful for that I'm really grateful that I have all this free time so that'll be the end of this video you guys thank you so much for watching and putting on uh, makeup with me and I'm just going to straighten some of these and I don't know who that is outside but thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new I love you guys thank you so much for the support it means so much I love you bye